the bilinear transformation which maps the points z1 equal to 2, z2 equal to iota and z3 equal to negative 2 into the points w1 equal to 1, w2 equal to iota and w3 equal to negative 1. There is a remark over here. To find the bilinear transformation to transform three distinct points z1, z2, z3 into the three specified points w1, w2, w3. So for that we have to consider the transformation that is w minus w1 into w2 minus w3 divided by w1 minus w2 into w3 minus w that is equal to z minus z1 into z2 minus z3 divided by z1 minus z2 into z3 minus z. Now how to remember this transformation? There is a very easy way to remember this. So we are having the points w, w1, w2, w3. So just write this as from first to the second one just write w minus w1 then in the denominator w1 minus w2 then in the numerator w2 minus w3 and then denominator w3 minus back w right so this is how we have to complete the cycle likewise the cycle from here for the z z z1 z2 z3 so start from here z minus z1 this one and then z1 minus z2 the denominator and then z2 minus z3 then again in the numerator and then z3 minus z that is the denominator so this is how you can remember this transformation before moving on to the solution it is also important to remember this combinator and dividend to rule because I am going to use this rule in the solution. So this rule states that if the ratio of A and B is equal to the ratio of C and D, then the ratio of A plus B over A minus B that is sum of the numerator and denominator divided by difference of the numerator and the denominator. So that is equal to the ratio of C plus D over C minus D. That is sum of the numerator and denominator divided by again the difference of the numerator and the denominator. Right? So this is how this rule is used. So let's move on to the solution now. So we are given that Z1 equal to 2, Z2 equal to iota and Z3 equal to negative 2 and W1 equal to 1, W2 equal to iota and W3 equal to negative 1. So let's consider the transformation and the required transformation is, so just write down like this, W minus W1 divided by W1 minus W2 into W2 minus W3 divided by W3 minus W. Easy? Okay, so this is equal to again for Z points. Z minus Z1 divided by Z1 minus Z2 into Z2 minus Z3 divided by Z3 minus Z. Right? Now let's put these points over here. So W minus, what is W1? It is 1 divided by, then again W1 is 1 minus what is w2 it is iota right into w2 minus w3 that is iota minus minus 1 that is iota plus 1 and then w3 minus w that is minus 1 minus w putting the values for z1 z2 and z3 so this is z minus what is z1 it is 2 divided by z1 minus z2 that is 2 minus iota and then z2 minus z3 so iota plus 2 and then z3 minus z that is minus 2 minus z fine all right so i'm going to manage the negative sign of this factor so next W minus 1 over 1 minus iota into iota plus 1 and this can be written as 1 plus W that is equal to Z minus 2 over 2 minus iota into iota plus 2 over Z plus 2. Is it fine? Okay, in the next step, 
this is w minus 1 over i'm writing this factor over here w plus 1 right and this is iota plus 1 over 1 minus iota and i'm going to rationalize this also that is 1 plus iota over 1 plus iota right so this is equal to z minus 2 over writing z plus 2 in the denominator and then iota plus 2 divided by this is 2 minus iota and rationalizing this 2 plus iota over 2 plus iota so this is nothing but 1 plus iota whole square and this is a plus b whole square just put the formula we get a square plus b square plus twice a b so iota square is negative 1 so this will go so we have left up with 2 iota in the numerator and in the denominator this is a minus b into a plus b that is a square minus b square so 1 square minus iota square that is 2 so in the denominator we get 2 so this is 2 iota over 2 so w minus 1 over w plus 1 into 2 iota over 2 this is equal to z minus 2 over z plus 2 and this is again iota plus 2 whole square so putting the formula so in the numerator we get a square plus b square plus twice a b so that is minus 1 plus 4 plus 4 iota that is 4 iota plus 3 in the numerator and in the denominator again a square minus b square that is 4 minus iota square that is 5 fine okay so this two will go so we get w minus 1 over w plus 1 equal to this iota i'm taking this to the other side in the denominator so z minus 2 over z plus 2 into 4 iota plus 3 divided by 5 iota is this okay fine okay so now multiplying and dividing by iota here so we get w minus 1 over w plus 1 equal to z minus 2 over z plus 2 and just multiplying this iota in the numerator we get 4 iota squared that is minus 4 plus 3 iota so this is 3 iota minus 4 divided by this is minus 5 fine okay so let me adjust this minus sign with the numerator so i can get this as 4 minus 3 iota over 5 fine all right now I'm going to use the Componental and Dividendal rule over here. Uh, but before that, I need the positive term to be in the numerator, right? Before applying the formula, I need the numerator to be completely positive. So let me uh, take the reciprocal of left hand side and the right hand side simultaneously. So this is W plus 1 over W minus 1 equal to 5 into z plus 2 divided by z minus 2 into 4 minus 3 iota and now i'm going to use the combinator and dividend to rule over here for that just adding the numerator and the denominator we get w plus 1 plus w minus 1 and then subtracting the numerator and the denominator so w plus 1 minus w plus 1 so on the right hand side just adding the numerator and denominator we get this plus z minus 2 into 4 minus 3 iota divided by subtracting the numerator and the denominator so these terms are subtracted all right so here this one will go by this so we get 2w divided by 2 and in the right hand side just simplify this you will get this is 5z plus 10 plus this is 4z minus 3 iota z minus 8 plus 6 iota and then 5z plus 10 minus 4z plus 3 iota z plus 8 minus 6 iota so cancelling this two we get w is equal to 
from here we get 5z plus 4z as 9z and then this 10 minus 8 is 2 and then minus 3 iota z plus 6 iota divided by from here 5z minus 4z is z and this 10 plus 8 is 18 and then 3 iota z minus 6 iota right okay so this is further equal to now let's take 3z common from these two terms so we get 3z into 3 minus iota right and taking 2 common from the rest of the terms we get 1 plus 3 iota very fine and then let me take z common from these two terms so this is z into 1 plus 3 iota and then taking 6 common from this i get 3 minus iota if you notice over here i'm getting the same factor here right so let me take 3 minus iota common from both the numerator and denominator so this is 3z plus 2 into 1 plus 3 iota divided by 3 minus iota right divided by this is z into 1 plus 3 iota over 3 minus iota plus 6 right okay let's solve this factor 1 plus 3 iota over 3 minus iota rationalizing this we get 1 plus 3 iota over 3 minus iota into 3 plus iota over 3 plus iota so this is equal to 3 plus iota plus 9 iota minus 3 divided by this is 9 plus 1 so this is equal to this 3 will go by this so i get 10 iota over 10 that is equal to iota so now writing iota for this so this is 3z plus 2 iota divided by z iota plus 6 that is equal to w so this is the required transformation mm -hmm.